What's going on everybody? Tanner Weidman of Barbarian Body and in today's video I'm going to be showing you three of some of the best upper chest exercises that you actually likely aren't even doing as of right now. So without further ado, let me get right into it and show you what they are. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. So to begin this workout, we're gonna be starting with some incline plate pinch presses. So with the bench on the lowest setting for the incline, you're gonna position yourself down and you're actually gonna press two plates together. Now the main important cue that I need you to follow in order to activate your chest as much as you possibly can is to actually squeeze those plates together as hard as possible. As you can see in this demonstration, you'll notice that when I'm squeezing the plates together and actually consciously activating the pecs compared to the way that most people will do it and say, Tanner, I'm not feeling anything. That's what gets the most results. That's what's activating all of the muscular fibers. The benefit of an exercise like this is the fact that you're going to be able to keep tension on the pecs as maximally as possible throughout all reps in the set. Now that we've gotten sort of our primer exercise out of the way, it's now time to get onto the classic compound movement for the upper chest, the incline dumbbell bench press. Now before every Everybody starts to say, yeah, I do this movement already. I'm gonna show you a comparison of two different ways to execute the exercise. The way you see on the left where my upper chest is popping, you can actually see the muscle fibers in there being activated. Compare that with the one on the right where you're not able to see as much activation out of the upper chest. So let me show you how I get my upper chest fibers firing so much on this exercise. So the first and most important step, lower the weight. Don't ego lift. In fact, I was only using a pair of 40 pound dumbbells here and with three sets, eight repetitions, my upper chest was torqued. Secondly, we're not just pressing the weight up. Rather, what we're doing, we're shortening the insertion and the origin of the chest. This is also the reason that we're gonna be using dumbbells for this exercise. Now, as you press, you're actually gonna close the distance between those dumbbells. Try to get your elbows together as closely as possible. This is what's going to allow you to shorten those upper chest muscle fibers a lot more and allow you to get that maximal activation. Now, in addition, you might notice that I also contracted my core and flattened my back. This is just so I can completely align my back with the bench so that I can maximally hit the upper chest. You see, when most people perform this exercise, they've got a nice rounded back. So when they do the incline bench press, it's not so much hitting the upper chest, but more so the entire chest, thus kind of defeating the purpose of the movement. Three to four sets of eight repetitions should be sufficient. You won't need that many repetitions just simply because the time under tension for every repetition, as well as the intention of each movement is going to be significantly increased. All right, before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Whether you're looking to create your own online blog, online store, Squarespace has you covered. So Squarespace is basically designed for any purpose and all of their platform is going to be able to handle the major things such as pages, galleries, blogs, commerce, calendars, and a whole lot more. Included in your Squarespace account, you're going to get access to SEO tools. So pretty much if you need to get found on the internet, you need to have this search engine optimization tools. They got you covered here. Easy importing is also included in your Squarespace account. So if you want to get information from your Twitter or your Instagram, and you want to have it on your website, you can do that easily. Man, even if you want visitors who are coming to your website to book appointments with you, you can actually do that with the Squarespace membership as well because they have tools that are developed specifically for that, really making this thing, again, easier than you could ever imagine. So to start your free trial, be sure to head on over to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, be sure to head on over to squarespace.com slash barbarianbody or hit the link that you will find in the description box to get 10% off your very first order. And I just wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the rest of the content. All right, our third and final exercise here are gonna be some low to high cable holds. So yes, you're gonna be performing this the way you would with a traditional cable fly. However, when you're bringing your hands up towards about mid face level here, you're gonna be bringing the hands together in the same way we were doing with the plate pinch press. You're going to squeeze that position as hard as you possibly can to provide the upper chest with an isometric hold. And once you've got that isometric hold, right there where the chest is maximally activated I'm gonna suggest you hold that position for five seconds now there is incorrect ways of performing this a lot of people might say I'm not feeling it I'm not getting the results from this exercise and that's just simply because they're bringing their hands together just traditionally the way you're able to see here this is the difference of the way that I'm performing it as you can see the chest fibers are going my jaws clenched my face is ripped. you can clearly see what I'm trying to demonstrate here whereas the incorrect way would be just to have the hands together 
together and holding them for no damn reason just to execute the exercise. And another mistake that you want to avoid is the shoulder internal rotation where this becomes more of a deltoid movement and less of a pectoral movement. So you want to focus on keeping that chest out nice and proud so that you can properly hit the upper chest. So there you guys go. That concludes today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Now if you're looking for any of my training programs then be sure to head on over to thebarbarianbody.com. If you don't know exactly which one to pick then be sure to use our free program selector tool that you'll find at the top of the homepage. If you guys enjoyed the video then be sure to smash that like button down below and also be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.